action yeah hello welcome to FOMA solutions and this is a continuation of a lesson with regards to the intermediate value to and uh, more specifically the, the books uh, property where we try to find out whether solutions exist within certain intervals that's actually the open intervals and uh, we have done um, quite some examples in this video we want to look at another example um, that is to show that, so you see this in the example 2. So we're showing that, show that um, S cube minus 5x plus 1 equals 0. I has at, at least um, two zeros. Two zeros in the interval. So this is the interval negative three and uh, two. Uh, so showing that this particular function or equation, this particular equation has um, at least two zeros. At least two zeros here means that we are looking at um, solutions to this particular equation. So it has two or more, yeah. Solutions uh, in this interval, okay. and then we are proving this by so we are proving so prove so by the the box property. So we ask ourselves what does the property see states? See? If you have forgotten this, you have not watched the previous video. So you grab it and watch, right? Yes, I want to help you a little. It's saying that there should be a continuous function within a closed interval. But here what we have is an open interval. So we have to make it close for us to satisfy the, the property. So if it is closed on the interval, and there is a certain constant within this interval, so that when you find the function value of it, you get a certain number. The that one becomes the, the solution to all the roots, all the zeros for this particular equation. So let's get to business and see what we can do. So let's do the proof here. So we have the equation here can be written as a function. We have f of s equals s cubed minus 5x plus 1. Okay, so this is what we have. And uh, so we want to look at the closed interval negative 32. So all that we need to do is to find out whether it is um, actually continuous on it is to find uh, uh, yeah so you have first interval is to find the function value at negative uh, three so f of negative three so we put in negative three here so uh, minus five negative three plus one so you see what value we are getting. Alright, so that's giving us negative 11. Okay. Now we substitute the 2 into it just to get the extreme values. Then we are having so 2 cubed minus 5 into 2 plus 1. And the result there is negative 1. Okay. So we seen that it is continuous within the interval. And so we say that f of x is continuous on f uh, on, on the closed interval negative 3 2 and let's see the graph of this that gives us a better idea uh, as to whether there exist uh, solutions or we can find zeros uh, more than one zeros to this particular uh, equation or function so, yeah, this x and uh, y and in the origin. Um, what values do you have? Negative three. So there's negative three here and two. So two is here. So uh, that's as it is to look. But that is why it is. And then we need the the negative y because at at negative three 
we are getting a negative uh, 11. So we'll get something here. And act uh, 2. I get a negative 1. They are all in the negatives. Uh, so a negative 1. So this is negative one. So this could be negative eleven. We are just sketch. Alright, but we need to know the nature of um, the particular equation. And this is cubic equation. So you we can't just draw a line connecting this. That will be a linear equation. So we need to take into consideration that. Okay. So let's see how this will be drawn. Um, we, we have something here we can move from here and uh, so first of all we draw some so the graph of this particular this thing will turn as it will have it will be having two turning points so we will find it It is acting the axis at this particular point, and it is also cutting it at this particular point. Yeah. So we have two points that it is acting the ten the axis within the interval. That's negative three and negative two. We we have a certain point here where the graph is cutting the axis. So we want to call this one uh, x one and uh, this value here. Um, x2. Uh, it means that we can see right, so there's, there's some space here. So we can say that there exists uh, x1. So there exists x1 within the interval. Remember, this is the origin 0. There exists x1 within the Open into a negative to it okay. such that f at x1. So, what is it giving us? It's giving us uh, so that this way you're getting zero. f at x1 gives us what? Zero. Also, there is this x2 within the interval negative 32 uh, such that f at that s2. As we give us what is it? So we will conclude that uh, S S cube minus five x plus one has so you see that we have uh, the question what we have to do? It has uh, going to show that it's going to have um at least two solutions with that in the interval. So we have and this one has so at, at least first we will get more of the solutions so once we have two so two or more so we, that has been satisfied that there's two solutions in the interval so you have negative three so that is that we, we finish the proof by the box property. Okay. Uh, so thanks very much for watching this particular video. Uh, we shall meet again to talk about derivatives and um, all other aspects as far as the cost introductory analysis is concerned. So we meet again. We need to, to be working hard. Keep calculating the mathematics. The more you try, the more conversant you become with issues surrounding the concept that you intend them. Thank you very much.